Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to use a smart notebook template for teaching students about fractions and this is the circles template. You can find the template at this web page. And when you do, it'll look something like this. As you can see, there's four slides on this template. The first slide is just a slide where you can click a few times to insert your own heading and click a few times to insert your own introduction. The second slide has uh, a set of shaded square, a circle, sorry, and a set of white circles with the shaded ones ordered so they're on top. As you can see, there are whole circles, circles that are divided into halves, uh, circles that are divided into quarters, circles that are divided into eighths, and circles that are divided into sixteenths. The third slide is basically the same, except this time the white circles are on the top. The fourth slide is where you actually copy those circles to and insert your questions to teach your students about fractions. Now, before you actually create a question, it's a good idea to make a copy of this fourth slide or a clone. Okay, so right click on it and choose clone page or the shortcut is control D. So that way you've got a spare copy down the bottom and the second last one you can insert your question on. Okay, so let's insert question one. We'll click a few times and put a one in the blue there. And we'll insert a question by clicking a few times and then typing in our question. So what fraction of the shape below is shaded? Okay, now let's go and get some pictures from these one of these two slides to put there because obviously there's no shape below at the minute. Let's go to slide two. Okay, let's work with quarters. All right, so it's probably best to just draw a, a rectangle covering these two uh, circles that are divided into quarters, the shaded and the white one. And when all of those pieces have been selected, simply right click and choose copy, or you can just do control C. And then go to slide four and paste them there. Right click and paste or control V. And then we can simply move one over the other to get our question. Okay, or get the picture to be associated with the question. So I'm just dragging one shaded piece on there and I might just delete the other ones. So as you can see, uh, the answer to that is that one uh, quarter of the shape below is shaded. So then you simply insert your answer. Insert the sentence first. And the second part, if you see a few lines here, is to insert it as a fraction. Okay, so one, four, there we go. And you can bring the screen shade up to cover your answer. So now you've got question one, questions written. You've simply put this picture here and by copying the shapes, it was very easy to do. And underneath that you've got your screen shade and you can reveal the answer after you've had a bit of discussion with the class. Then, as I mentioned before, you've got a blank slide still under here ready to go for your next question. So let's make a clone of this. So again, we'll have a blank slide down the bottom, but we're going to go to the second last slide and insert our question two. All right, and I'll say... Again, same question, um, or actually a variation. Uh, 
okay as you see I made a bit of a variation this time and I'm gonna go up uh, and grab one of these shapes I might grab uh, this one where it's divided into eighths and I'll copy that and paste it and move it up into place okay now I might just grab my highlighter tool and the, choose the green highlighter and I might just shade in say you know oops not not very good at uh, coloring in here but you know I might shade in three eighths in green then I'll go back to my pointer tool type the answer in sentence format solid green okay and type it in as a fraction once again use the screen shade and there you go you've got your question you've got the image and the answer once you've discussed that with your class and of course you've got this slide ready to go for your next question okay that's about it I uh, hope you find this useful and I hope your kids enjoy it too thank you